So today is day one of our video visibility challenge. And if you signed up, you should have gotten an email with today's activity and what you um, should have done today. So today is all about planning for the rest of the week. So I'm gonna be coming to you live for the next five days at this time, um, Sunday through Thursday. We'll do a recap on Friday. But the objective for us this week is to show up and show out in our travel business. And I've given you some very um, specific ways to do that particularly if you're video shy, and I know many of you are. Sassy did a great job by posting her outline um, so that you could see what her thoughts were in terms of her first video. So if you got the instructions, I'm just gonna do a really, recap, a really quick recap of what the instructions are for today, um, and let me share this out. So give me just one second, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Um, yes, but give me a minute and I'm going to talk about that because what I want you to do is, um, the question that Sassy asked was, should you plan out all your videos at once? And you're already in the mood, so why not, right? So I really like batch contenting and what that means is when I'm in the mood to write and when I've uh, planned out time to write, I write. Right, so I write as much as I can get out of my brain, particularly when I know that I've got multiple things to write. I try and write as much as I can. So give me just one minute. Let me uh, share this out to, uh, gotta share this out to two places. Um, since I didn't start on my business page, I've gotta share it to my business page. So give me a second and... Um, <coughs> and then uh, we'll get started. Okay, give me a second. I'm Moving a little bit slow today. I had a really busy day today. Uh, first week back at school, and um, you know we were trying to plug all the holes today for the kids. Uh, doesn't seem like I can share to that, so let me just share to this one. <clears throat> all right. So, um, hey, TT. All right, give me a second. I'm just trying to share this out and I'm, I'm moving a lot slower than I normally move. All right, so let's get started. All right, so today is, you got the, if you signed up, what you got is um, instructions on um, planning out what you wanna do. So the objective for this week's um, challenge is we're gonna do three videos. We're gonna do, so I'm not gonna you know, try and inundate you, make you do five and seven videos all in one time and cram, of course, uh, cram, cram in as many videos as I can. The idea for us this week is to say, hey, hey Jazz, nice to have you on. Um, is to say, you know what, we are, we're gonna take this slow. Many of you are video shy, some of you are not, some of you have been doing this a while and your old hats at it, but maybe you don't have these signature videos that we are going to do this week. And so what I did is I gave you instructions on three video objectives that we have for this week. One is an about you, so you as the business owner um, and why you, you know, uh, decided to do your business, uh, talk about your love for travel, your love for service, whatever it is that you wanna talk about. I've given you a little bit of insight as to the best thing to do. So I've got like two computers working and my notes are on this other computer. So give me a second because I always love when my um, printer gives out right when I need it to. So I couldn't print out my notes. So I do notes too. So. Um, the third, uh, the second video is um, you're going to pick a service that you are going to do 
Give me a second, ladies. All right. So the second video is, is a service that you are going to call out, right? So if it is your uh, research service, maybe you are going to do a plan by year service, whatever service you want to call out, that's the second video. Third video is a topic of your choice. So if you have a niche, I would say pick something in your niche and talk about it, right? What maybe good trends are going on, some new news about, maybe some great uh, trip ideas, whatever you wanna talk about, that's gonna be your third trip. And so what I gave you today is for those people who are like, well, thanks Sunday, I've got the topics, but I still don't know what to say. I gave you an outline for you to step through your thoughts on how you wanna organize what you're gonna say. And so Sassy did a great job of uh, demonstrating how what that looks like. So she went through the outline and for each one of the sections, which was delivered in your email, she put in what her thoughts were to say. You don't have to script it out every word for word, but the idea is for you to collect yourself and to do three of those, right? So Sassy asked me just a minute ago, should she do all three? My recommendation is if you've got the time, why not think about all three of them or at least get all uh, two of them set up and then do the third one tomorrow, whatever you decide. But the idea is for you to think about what you want to say. That was my biggest thing when I started going live or started recording. I would start talking and then I would freeze. I would just like, I'd be like. And so I would look just like that. <laughs> so when my brain shuts down, like I'm not able to hide it really well. Like my brain was just like. So I'd be on this and I'd have all these awkward pauses and these awkward silences on my live because I didn't really know what to say and I was trying to wing it and I've never really been good at impromptu speaking. I've always been a preparer for speaking. So when I started to prepare my thoughts, even if it is just to write down like, you know, my three points or my five points or my six points or whatever the points are that I want to do for the day, it was, it, it helped me get out of my brain to mouth what I wanted to speak about. And so that's what I want to do for you guys when we plan out these three videos for this week. So let me know if that makes sense. Either give me some hearts, give me some likes, give me something. So I know that that makes sense. If you don't, didn't get the instruction, that means you haven't signed up for the challenge. And I will put the link in here at the end. Um, and if somebody has the link, if you can post it, then what you can do is you can sign up and then I will send a resend out right after this uh, live so that you can join and get the email um, for today's instructions. That's pretty much going to be the flow for every day this week is you're going to get an email with some instructions. You're going to follow those instructions. I'm going to come live to you this in the evening and then we're going to go through it. So about video is your number one video. You're, you do not have to schedule these two videos, but I do want you to schedule the third video. If you want to do them in, in different orders, that's okay too, but I want you to schedule the third video and instructions for that are going to come out tomorrow. So you're going to get two videos that you can do. You can go live, you can record them. I would think it would be best for you just to hop on live. If you tag me, and if I am not in a meeting, I will jump on. And even if I am in a meeting, I will watch it in the replay and I will interact with the video, which is what we want to happen. It's some interaction because Facebook is pretty squirrely about how it works, right? So let me give you a little bit of insight about how Facebook works, right? Facebook favors video and a story, right? So it will, in a news feed, surface a video above and beyond word text every day of the week, right? Organically, more percentages of video will get surfaced organically than text will. So um, if, you're, if you're on your business page, but the reality is Facebook is a pay to play platform. I always, you know, stutter when I have to say that, the, the three Ps, it's a pay to play platform. For. So if you want to get in front of your target audience and you're not paying for it, it's not likely that you're going to get in front of them in volume, right? You'll get in front of them percentage wise, small percentage wise, which you will not get in front of them in volume, except for a couple of tricks that we're going to do. So 
Let me give you an example of what that means. If you have a thousand, let's just use a thousand as a great number so that you can understand the percentages, right? Organically, if you have a thousand people that like your business page organically, which means for free without pay, Facebook is going to show about eight to 10% of those thousand people, whatever you post on your business page, right? For free, without spending a dime, about eight to 10%. Um, it didn't always, it wasn't always like that, but it's like that now. So, but video, I don't know what the percentages are with video, but I know that video is a higher percentage. I haven't been able to find any statistics as to how much more of a percentage it is, but video, Zuckerberg likes video. So if you're doing video on your platform and you're doing lives on your platform and you have engagement, Facebook is likely to show it to more people and the and the fact that people are engaging in it, more people will see it, right? So that's the goal. So even if it's people that you know and you've got people commenting and liking, Facebook's algorithm likes to see that activity, which then triggers it to show it to more people. So that is the reason why I tell you after the video or during the video, tag me and I will be sure to help with getting some initial engagement on your about video. We're gonna also do some additional things to get eyes on your video after the video. And this is the practice that I want you to have for every video that you do, okay? So it's not that you just show up, right? You gotta show out. And so that show out part is consistently showing up, but then doing this after work that we're going to be working through in the week after you do a live. And this is if you do a recording or if you do a live, but I will tell you, I prefer you to do a live because of that live interaction. There's no chance for you to stop and start, you know, you just get it done and then you you hit stop and that's it. Like, don't even think about it. Don't think about, oh my God, I stuttered. It doesn't matter. Don't edit it, just go, right? So that's what we want to be doing over the next three days. So the topics again for today, that we're going to be delivering over this week are an about you video. You're gonna start every video on your business page. I do not want you starting them on your personal page. I don't want you starting them in your group. I want you to start them on your business page and share them out to any other place while you're live on these other platforms. So it, the, the sequence is very important. As long as your business page is public, that's what we want. We want it's public, a public business page. I've already given you guys instructions on how to create your business page. I saw many of you guys share your business page and I think that's great. I think that we should be liking each other's business page because when you go live, then that's also gonna give you a notice as well. But um, share your business page. If you haven't done so, do so, so that everyone in this group can like your business page. The second thing is, is that you want to, um, you want to go live on the business page. You will need a business page and then you want to go live on the business page. And while you're on, when you're live, you want to share it out to that. So you may be like, well, how do I do all that? Like, how do I share out while I'm live, right? So it takes two devices, right? Or you can have somebody do it for you, right? So you can have somebody come on and share out your um, page to your personal page, to their personal page. It doesn't matter. The point is, is we want to share the video out to multiple places. All right, so that may be a little bit new for some of you guys. Let me know that you guys are catching that as well. So these are sort of the, some of the activities that we're gonna do while we're doing the video and then after the video. So while we're doing the video, we're on our business page, we're sharing it to our personal page. You can have other people share it to their personal page or to your personal page. Doesn't matter. I just wanna see that you sharing it, all right? Okay, so that's pretty much all you have to do today is do your outlines, think about what is it what what is it that you want to say, right? What is the message that you want to give for each of the videos that you do? I want you to um, let me make sure my instructions. I said uh, so I gave you the outline and then. Um, asked you to take some pictures of your uh, outlines and post them in the group so we can see what your progress is. And then um, I asked you number three to actually create an event in your business page for video number three, 
right? So whichever sequence you want to do, maybe you want a video number three to be about you. Maybe the first one's going to be a service, the second one, right? But if you follow the sequence that I'm giving you, what I've said is your first video is about you. Second video is about a service that you're going to uh, talk about that you, your, your business delivers. And third video is a topic of your choice. I want you to schedule that event on your business page for Thursday. I don't care what time on Thursday, but that's the date, right? So I'm not going to give you any freedom on that. All of your videos need to be scheduled on Thursday, right? So create an event on your thir on Thursday. Um, does it matter what days we go live? I don't care what days you go live, but I want you to schedule your third video on a Thursday, okay? Does that make sense? So if you go live normally on Tuesdays and, you know, then go live an extra day, do it on Thursday, okay? I want everybody, because I want to be able to make sure that I'm connected on Thursday and that I'm available. So I've cleared my calendar Thursday, whatever times you guys are going. I'm, you know, I'm going to do my very best unless you guys are simultaneously going. But my idea is for you to be there for you guys on Thursday. So schedule it on Thursday. Um, I've already talked to you guys about doing an event picture for the video, for have a title, have a description, um, and then share the event in the group. All right. So how do you do that? Simple. You create the event in Facebook. The minute you create an event, there's a URL right at the top of that. Snag that bad boy post it in our group, right? Then I can um, get on it, accept it, look at it, and everything is good. So hopefully everybody understands this. This is a cadence that you guys need to start getting familiar with, right? You need to think of your lives as a marketing event, right? It doesn't matter if people show up or not, but a marketing event warrants attention, right? That means it's on the calendar, there's communication around it, there's activity around an event, right? You want to get people, you want to invite people to an event. So this is the first thing that I want you to do. Video number three, I want you to formalize that and make it an event, okay? So that means go on your business page and create an event. Oh, that's perfect. So that will be your uh, choice thing. So schedule that bad boy, right? Give it a name and that is the thing that you're going to do. Now, a site inspection, um, may not be as orchestrated as you would like it, right? Because you're actually having to do the flow. You may, you are doing the flow of whatever the inspector is doing, right? I would still schedule the event if you want to literally be going live and you want to do that. But maybe at the beginning or the time that you schedule. So here's a couple of things. And, I, and Andre, I think this is a great example of something for us to talk through. She's got a live, live event, right? And she wants to go live during the event. The problem I foresee with live, live events is that you don't control is you don't control it, right? So, you know, I remember somebody, I think my aunt's a, a travel agent too, and she did a live inspection on a ship and she's out of uh, North Carolina. So I don't know exactly where she was, but she did a live inspection and it was super windy and, you know, she kind of went in and out and she couldn't really, um, you know, the, I don't know if the, the Wi-Fi was bad or the connection was bad. So it was very choppy to follow that inspection. So, um, you know, for those of you who have done an inspection and you've tried to go live, you may understand what I'm saying about that. So here's an alternative is, is that you record the whole thing right? You don't go live, but you record the whole thing and then you edit the video for any of the choppiness or things, or, you know, you just maybe put together the piece, the, the, the pieces that were really important, um, out of that. And you create a video for that. And then you create a watch party of which that you schedule, right? That's another alternative for you to do something when that is live that you really can't orchestrate. Um, but if you're comfortable with doing the whole thing live, then just shoot the bad boy, schedule the time. People will stick on the thing with you just because you're there and you're doing something exciting that they've never done, right? So you've got all these things to consider 
when you are doing an event, but the, my point is to schedule it. So hopefully that makes sense, right? Live, live events that, you know, you aren't hosting, that someone else is hosting and they're taking you around. You may not know where you're going and you may have some low points, but as long as you can fill that time up with words and actions and things that you want to say, all of that I think would be great. I think that's a great idea. Um, but the alternative is to record the entire inspection or parts of the inspection, right? And then piece them together and create a video that you can then um, release and then do a watch party that you schedule. You know, say the say your inspections at one o'clock or two o'clock, and then you can schedule it you know it's seven that night or something like that so again your choice but that's a great that's a great example of what you could do with that kind of um event okay so any questions about what you guys are going to be doing so today's planning plan out what you're going to do for the week in terms of the videos and the content that you want to do again it doesn't have to be you know, chapter and verse, like you're not writing a war and peace novel. You're not going to be on here for 50, you know, 55 minutes, right? If you're verbose like me, you may be on for 55 minutes, who knows? But the point is, is that these are not intended to be hour long sessions. These are intended to be your signature videos that are really going to be consumed quickly by your future audience, right? So this about video, I don't, I don't intend that your about video be any longer than five to seven minutes, right? Uh, 10, 15, 20, that's a lot to talk about and you should be inviting them on a call, right? So, you know, if you can keep it under five minutes, that would be great, your about video. So that tells you that that's not a lot of content. Um, you know, I again, I'm not looking for you to write a novel, nor am I looking for you to speak a novel in your, uh, your live video. So short and sweet, and I've given you the outline of things that you want to talk about. If you guys have any problems in coming up with that content or what is it that you should say, then reach out to me. But I will tell you, coach to you, the thing about an about video that you want to make sure is it's really not about you, okay? The about video is about them. It's about how you help your customer, right? So it's never about you. It's always what's in it for them. Everything that we do from a marketing perspective is always what's in it for them, right? Why should they utilize your services? Um... Okay, I'll answer that in just a second, Andre. That's a good question. Um, why should you utilize their services? Why should they utilize your services, right? Why you are amazing at helping them solve their problems, right? What their problems are and that you understand what their problems are and that you are the best at solving those types of problems, right? It's all about them. Always all about them. It's never, ever, ever about you, right? Um, the service provider, it's always about how you deliver your service to help them do whatever it is that they want to do better, right? That's how you draw people in as you make that connection to whatever their pain or desire is and you talk about how you solve that and not only do you solve it, you've been doing it and you know nobody does it like you, right? So let me know if that makes any sense. Um, or if you have any questions there. Okay, so what is a good editing program to use if you record it? There are so many editing um, programs out there. And so, um, you know, here's the thing that I use. I use a pretty complicated piece of software. I don't know why it's so complicated. Um, I think it's, it's not that it's complicated. It just takes up a lot of memory. And so my computer is like on, on its deathbed. I use Wondershare, Wondershare, Filmora, Wondershare, but there is a movie video, which I think is one that I started with that I think usually comes with your windows browser. There's a couple that I've tried on my phone. Um, not so much that I like those, um, but I like, I like Filmora Wondershare because uh, it just made sense to my brain, right? And you guys know that I have kind of a squirrely brain in terms of technically how I can maneuver around there. So I really like the way that it, I, you know, I'm able to split the video, edit the video and do all of that kind of stuff. Um, add in intros and outros and I'm, you know, I've gotten pretty sophisticated with video editing when that was not my background at all. So for simplicity's sake, I think many, uh, there, you know, I kind of think of what the name of that, it, it comes with your windows. Um, if you guys, I'm not an Apple person, so 
um, you know, I don't, I can't give you any Apple. Are you an Apple or are you Windows gal? I'll have to get, get some, I have to, I'll have to get a recommendation for Apple people. Um, but for Windows, it's the, it's the video editor that comes with your Windows that I've used. And I, I thought it was called Movie. Um, but let me get that. I'll have to look on my desktop and see what the name of it is. Um, let me see if I can do that right now. No, because this is not my desktop. This is the one I'm trying to get set up. So, and Andrea, I will tag you when I get the answer to that. Okay, so I want you to, it's something simple. It's not very difficult at all. The one that's on my computer. Um, so if you're using Windows, just search in your um, in your toolbar or your tools, right? Your applications and search for video editing. And there's an application that's gonna come up and I've used that and it was pretty easy to use to cut um, because that's all you really wanna do is cut and maybe like take sections out um, and you know, just remove any, you know, dead space or anything like that. Here's a trick for those who are recording um, your videos and you want to be able to do smooth recording. The thing that for me, I remember when I first started doing videos, I would stop and I would I would stop the video and I would start. I would stop the video and I would start and start a new video. So I would stop the video and I would start a new video. I would stop the video so then I'd have all these little videos and then I couldn't remember which video was what. So it's been all this time with, um, uh, is it Blender? No, it was just. It's just called movies and um, movies, movie editor or something like that. But like I said, I, I dare not try while I'm online to look at it because that computer will probably crash on me. But I'll look it up and I will post it for you guys as a post and tag um, tag this group um, on it. So um, here's a trick for you if you're recording: don't stop the video, just pause. So you make a big screw up and you are like, you've stuttered and you want to start over, just stop, right? And what you're doing is you're creating a space in that film so you know exactly where to cut it. Does it make sense? So stop, like if you start blurring your words, screwing up your words or whatever, don't stop the video, just stop yourself. Just stop, pause, you know, Give it a couple of seconds, minute, whatever, so that you have a natural, you'll be able to see it when you go into editing and you'll be able to see that there's this big break. And you'll be like, oh, that's where I stopped. I screwed up and I can just pick it up there. It makes cutting your videos so much easier. And so once I train myself to stop pushing stop and just to stop and recompose myself and redo whatever it is that I want to do, I found out that I don't mess up as much because I'll just stop. I got that blank. I can edit it and then I just pick up, right? So that's what I want you guys to think about as well. Do not restart and stop your video if you're in the middle of doing. So Andrea, while you're in that live and let's say you've got something going on, you know, if you're doing it a camera or a video, you know, maybe, you know, you, you may need to have multiple videos depending on how long your inspection is. But, you know, what I'm trying to suggest is if you actually have a, a video outline that you're going to do and you mess up and you're recording it, just stop, give yourself that pause and then pick it back up. All right. Any questions about today's and today's challenge? Do you guys um, feel good about what you guys have to do this week? Um, are you confused? Because sometimes I, you know, may have gone too fast and confused the issues. Three videos. One is the about you which is really about them and how you help them. Uh, number two is your service. So, you know, I assume all of you guys are charging a service fee. So what is that service that people are going to be paying for? I don't think you need to mention the fee. I just want to know what the service is and why it's such an amazing service. What service does it answer? Uh, Okay, I'll, I'll answer that, Sassy. That's a good one. Um, and then number three is the topic of your choice, right? I would pick something around your niche, something interesting, news-related, um, uh, facts, uh, maybe something related to a stranger offer, something like that. But that's going to be the topic of your choice. Three videos that you are going to go live or record this week about. All right, so name the things we need again for the event announcement. All right, so that is number three in your challenge day one activity, and they are as follows. You will need an event picture. So for Facebook event, I wanna say that's 1280 by 
600. I think that's what the event picture size is. You can design that in Canva. Um, and then you will need a title for your events. Hold on, and my screen just went, uh, went uh, hibernated. I'm looking in the event in my head, so you need a picture, which is great. Uh, great uh, real estate for you to talk about you know the name of your event have a great picture of you um even if it's a selfie that you just do that's a close-up of your headshot right a uh, picture of you the name of your event and you know you don't even have to put the time just put the name of the event and you right and then you're going to set up the event in facebook you need a title and a description facebook requires that you have a category um, usually the category for you guys, my category is usually other, but you guys should do travel. I think that there's a travel category, select travel. Um, and then, uh, that's it. Yep. You got it, Jazz. That's exactly your three. So, uh, Sassy, let me know if that answers. So you're going to, when you go and you click on events in your Facebook business page, you're going to go to the events, then click on that. And then you're going to create a new event. Um, and I think I included the instructions on how to do that in the, um, in the, uh, today's challenge. Uh, you're going to need a picture. You're going to need a title and you're going to need a description. Um, and then you're going to need a category and you obviously you're going to need a date and time, right? So Thursday is when the event should happen. You pick the time, um, and then in the location, just put live events. That's all you need to do. Or in your location, you can actually put your business page. Like if you start typing your name of your business page, that will show up too. Um, so in my events, I usually for live ones, I just put live event. Okay. All right. So today is pretty light. It's topics. You've got the topic categories. You just want to outline your topics and then set up number three's events. So set it up formally so that because in the next couple of days, we're going to start doing announcements for uh, that event um, and start getting some uh, momentum and some, you know, uh, rah rah about it, right? Because we're going to start letting people know that you're hosting an event. I um, mean, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to want to do regularly. All right, ladies, this is short and sweet. This is not, again, intended to be war and peace. You know, that, <laughs> how do I know that war and peace is so big? So let me tell you a little story. When I was in high school, I had read a really big book, and I don't remember what the book is. I was so proud of myself. So I'd go to the library, and I said, what is the biggest book you have in this library? And she said, war and peace. So in my mind, it always sticks with me when people are talking about, like, length. What is it that you want to do? Well, war and peace is the largest book that was in the library back then. I don't know if it still is. All right, good. Sassy says that she looks forward to this week. Who else is excited about this week? I'm like super excited because I'm actually going to be recording mine as well. So I'm going to set up mine and do everything I just told you. I have already worked on my outlines um, and I'm going to be doing the same thing for you guys for my travel business because there's, I um, actually need to do a couple of recordings. I need to do some of them for the coaching business and the travel business. So um, I'm going to be following along with you guys as well. All right, if there are no more questions, super excited. Thank you for joining me. If you have any travel agents that you know would um, benefit from being more visible through video, invite them, encourage them to join us in the challenge. Just send them the link um, and then we will meet here again tomorrow. So same back channel tomorrow. Email goes out first thing in the morning. Movie creator, that's it, that's it, Jazz, that's it, movie creator. And it's very simple, like it's very intuitive. If you guys get into that tool and you have some questions, you know, uh, during our Q&A, that would be the time to bring up the questions or post them in our group and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but Movie Creator is the one that I think comes with Windows and it's really simple. You'll load your video up in there and then you can edit, you can, I mean, and we're not gonna do anything fancy. Like I don't want you doing anything fancy here, nothing fancy. Just, you know, do some edits if you're doing a recording. I don't, that's why I say I don't even really want you doing recordings because I don't even want you worried about editing. That's why I didn't include any of that in um, here. All right, Andrea, I think you're going on vacation, aren't you? Have a good time. Have a great time. And for those who are not on vacation, who are going to be here all week, 
I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow. Let me know if you have any questions. That's right. That's why the group is here. Have any questions, need any help, let me know, and I will be here for you. Just tag me, and I got you. All right, ladies, you guys have a good rest of your evening, and we'll talk tomorrow. Bye.